Welcome to another episode of PHT TV. We were supposed to be covering the Cornwall history this week and Forte Cornwall Compare next week, but that one's still stuck in the editing booth. As such, we're gonna go a bit out of order. We've covered the heresies, we've covered the Fortes, we've covered the Cornwalls. Let's see some Lascalas. Before I go any further on the unboxing, hats off to the shipping department at Paducah Home Theater for handling these guys with such care. Not only are they shipped on a pallet, but they are wrapped all the way around with three quarter inch thick plywood to ensure they come to the doorstep unscathed. Anyways, that's enough on the shipping, let's dive in. As most of you are probably aware, similar to the Clipshorn, the current Lascalas come in two parts. The high frequency portion comes in one box and the low frequency portion comes in another box. In the first generation, they were all one piece. Now I'd like to say that unboxing is easier because of this fact, but when they were all in one cabinet, they were 78 pounds lighter. So I'm not sure that that would be an accurate statement. Now, like I said in the Cornwall video, I always recommend having assistance when unboxing these larger items. Today I'm bringing back in Michael. Again, happy to help in exchange for some speaker FaceTime and the beverage of his choice. It was brought to my attention last time that he did not say a word in the previous video, so let's fix that. Give us some words of wisdom, Michael. All right then. <laughs> All of that said, let's crack these guys open and see what's inside. <laughs> We're gonna start with the low frequency cabinet because this allows us to put the high frequency cabinet in place right away as we unbox. First, we're gonna take out the foam. And very next, we do have our black envelope. You have your La Scala owner's manual, your congratulations on your purchase letter, as well as just a bit of information on the grill itself. I'm just gonna put all this back into the envelope here. Flip the box upside down. Are you ready, Mikey? And lift. Remove the plastic. All right, so now that we got this guy in position, let's go ahead and get the high frequency cabinet. When we place the high frequency cabinet on top of the low frequency cabinet, you're gonna to wanna to take these wires, pull them through here. Then, just to further protect the speaker and allow us to hook it up a little bit better, I'm gonna set down this piece of cloth here. And then Mikey and I are gonna pick up the high frequency cabinet. And here we have La Scala number one. Let's go ahead and scoot this guy towards me, Mikey. And let's unbox number two. Alright Mikey, thank you for your help. You have been amazing as always. I definitely could not have done this one without you. <laughs> we'll see you again next time. Alright, so the evolution of the La Scala has been a bit strange. Throughout its history it was used for both home as well as professional environments. As such, when I compare this unit to previous generations, I feel it's necessary to remind you that I am referring to the La Scala 2. More specifically, the 70th anniversary edition, as this was technically the most recent relative, and a lot of the aesthetics and design inspiration was evolved from this unit. 
Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about other generations and some of the pro units in the history video, so be sure to check that out. Aesthetically, you'll notice that it looks quite similar to the previous generation. There is a new back panel with new binding posts, as well as a redesigned front face of the high frequency cabinet. You do want to match the serial numbers on the top and bottom cabinet. And the reason for that is the new AL5 La Scala's are also book matched, grain matched veneers. And what that means is the veneer is actually one sheet that runs all the way from the bottom of the low frequency cabinet up the high frequency cabinet, over the top, down the bottom, and all the way to the other side, it is one sheet of veneer. So it is a perfectly flowing waterfall effect that goes all the way around the cabinet. Now, diving a little bit more into the acoustics of this product, the mid-range compression driver as well as the low frequency driver are actually the exact same as the previous generation. It uses the K55X two inch compression driver on the mid-range and it uses the K33E driver on the low frequency. Now, this version of the La Scala is referred to as the AL5. This is because one of the biggest updates in the newer generation is the new AL5 network which is designed to give it an all-around improved listening experience over the previous iterations. In addition to the new network, the high-frequency driver has been updated to the new K771 and made into a modified Tractrix horn. The combination of these two parts, as well as the new network, allows for an entirely new listening experience. Now, just a heads up on the upcoming La Scala history episode, I do believe that the La Scala is Trey's personal favorite, so a ton of information is coming your way and a ton of backstory as well. So make sure you click that like and subscribe button below. You won't want to miss that history lesson. It'll be a good one. After that, we'll be comparing the Cornwalls and Los Galas side by side. So tune in for that as well. Last but not least, Paducah Home Theater is here to help. If you have any further questions regarding these or any other home theater items, please leave a comment below to let us know how we can help. Also, if you're ready to put a pair of these in your home, reach out today or jump on the website to buy your very own pair of these amazing speakers. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you again next week for another episode of PHT TV. This guy, this guy, I think that guy's you. <laughs> is this one me or is this one you? I think that one's you. You think that one's me? Okay. This guy doesn't look like he's doing as much work. <laughs>